So uh, we just need the uh, leads of the tracks to come on and pitch their tracks. And I will demo um, since I am leading a track. Uh, so hey, everyone. I'm going to lead IPFS implementations. The, this track is about um, just giving a rapid fire view into a ton of IPFS implementations. Um, there is lots of these. Uh, there are so many that we only have 15 minutes per talk. As a speaker, you can decide whether to do full talk for 15 minutes, or in some cases, some people want to do a lightning talk for five minutes and then do 10 minutes of discussion. Either way, um, if you want to go and discuss right after that talk, uh, totally able to get up and go discuss for, uh, for that implementation. The goal is to just um, hear from a lot of folks uh, working on different IPFS implementations and hear uh, from the whole community what's going on. Uh, so this is the only track uh, for today. And yeah, that's it. And I think next one. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And so we can, yeah, do you want to introduce Yanko? Yeah, I can take this. This is the Uncom, so I'm not speaking here, just more of the logistics. So we do have an Uncom track up in that eighth floor uh, room. You can also break out other places. There is a topic in IPFS uh, discourse, discussed at ipfs.io, where you can uh, label, you can fill in a time slot, say where your track is happening and, and what the content is. We recommend folks maybe also create an IPFS topic for your session because you can then gauge people's interest, how many people want to come, et cetera. Um, but that's, again, all, if you just go to IPFS, uh, the IPFS discourse, you'll see how to, how to do that. And again, hope we can have a lot of organic conversation. Thanks for partaking. And in general, there is, in Slack, there should be a uh, track channel. So if there's any questions you have per track, all the track leads should be in there as well. So feel free to use that, promo your stuff and everything else on a per track channel, whether it's Uncomp or anything else. Uh, one more general track like that. Um, there's a hack, co-work, and discuss track through Wednesday through Saturday. Um, it'll be in Floy, the uh, the space right below here. There's just going to be tables and comfy seats and so on, so you can go and hang out, hack on things and so on. So for all the people that have always wanted an IPFS event with just a lot of hack time, there you go. Uh, it does require the for, like the willpower to not go to a room. Sure, I'll go. Um, yeah, so Will, Will Scott and I are going to lead a content routing double feature uh, on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, the first day is on performance. So this is all about how do we scale content routing and how do we make it really fast and how do we make it O of 1 and how do we make it scale to 10 to the 18 objects. It's a lot. Uh, and day two is all about privacy. So how do we make reader, writer, writer privacy preserving content routing systems? So this is a super key area for uh, actually building secure, um, secure systems. So uh, the performance one is short to midterm oriented. The privacy one is mid to long term oriented. And there's a lot of like cool crypto uh, in the privacy one. Cool. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Adin. Uh, there is a uh, data and IPFS track. It has two components, uh, models, which I'll be talking about in leading, and transfer, which Hannah, who's coming after me, will be talking about in leading. Um, so, so models. So uh, if you ever thought you looked at an IPFS implementation and thought, UnixFS, it solves all of my problems. This is not the track for you. Um, <laughs> If instead uh, you have thought about IPLD things or you're thinking of how you would like to work with data in an IPFS context and content address context differently, what abstractions you need, what might be there, what's missing, do you hate block limits, this is the track. Uh, there's a link here asking you to fill out a little about your, your vision for IPFS and how you work with data. Uh, will help us learn a little bit about each other and the perspectives that we're coming from before we show up, which will help make our conversations better. See you then. So, hi everyone, I'm Hannah. I'm gonna be leading part two. Uh, so once we have all come to complete agreement about how we're gonna build IPLD, <laughs> we're gonna talk about uh, moving it around the internet. Um, 
And uh, we're going to talk about multi-party data transfer. There'll be a 30-minute session where you can throw peanuts at me for graph sync. Um, and then they're all, you know, we're talking about BitSwap. We're going to talk about a bunch of other experiments in data transfer. Um, and that's going to be in the morning on Thursday. And then since two parts on data and IPFS are not enough, there's a whole other special on comp uh, for the afternoon on Thursday where anyone can propose uh, discussions in case we're not all wrapped up with all those topics by then. Cool. All right, that's it. Yes. I guess connecting my events. All right. Click. Uh, yeah, so this track is all about sort of meeting user needs by connecting IPFS to other protocols, whether that's HTTP or DIDs or whatnot. So we're talking about UCANs and IPNS and gateways. Um, the, the first part of the day before lunch is all talks that are gonna be 20 minutes each. And then we're gonna do a big uh, hour-long discussion on just writable gateway, because it needs that amount of time. Uh, and then the rest of the day is all unconf. Uh, so that'll be really fun. Everybody should come check it out. And next up is, who's next? Building apps on IPFS. Hello, I'm gonna be hosting the Building Apps on IPFS track. And really what I wanna to bring to, together everyone who wants to take IPFS beyond infrastructure. So uh, everything from uh, like a default deployment experience, can we actually get people not using IPFS just as a file system, but using it as a global substrate that people can, that you know, some of my goals is that every human on the planet can put content on the internet and host it for free essentially forever. So things like data portability, actual apps, uh, encryption, privacy, identity is the types of things that we'll talk about. Uh, we've got a number of people joining sessions. They'll all be generally workshoppy, facilitated discussions. Um, and uh, so for example, uh, the Fission team, Piergos team, uh, Ceramic team talking about some of uh, identity capabilities and private data. Um, uh, Chris uh, is building an app on top of uh, uh, IPFS and one of the few ones that is uh, going to be dealing with uh, uh, native iOS clients. So going to talk about some of those choices. Uh, Brendan's going to join us, uh, basically going a little further beyond Unix FS uh, and different applications around metadata and WASM runtimes and so on, very focused on building and adoption. Uh, in the afternoon, we'll have the Fluence team from Evgeny and, and uh, David from the uh, Compute on, uh, on Data over Data uh, Working Group talk as well. What is that compute component when we talk about IPFS and entire apps? Uh, a, a lot of this will ideally uh, lead towards lots of notes and follow-ons. Uh, so this is a kickoff to really have a push for saying, let's get everyone convinced from web two to web three to blockchains to really use IPFS as an app building substrate all the way from users to developers. Thank you. Aqua and IPFS, the next one. Hello. Um, so I'm here with Fluence, and um, we work uh, on Aqua, which is programming language for building distributed algorithms and peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer protocols, uh, which like radically simplifies this stuff. And we are here like to you know, think together about how this new approach can help IPFS, can build, you know, optimized content routing, content indexing, and um, like make IPFS better and they like at the networking level, like academia and so on and so forth. So we're gonna have this short track on Thursday um, and we're gonna, you know, talk about all the details and discuss, just br like come uh, bring your ideas, join our workshops. Um, and we gonna also have like participating in other tracks. I think we are participating in content routing somewhere. I hope, yeah. So we have this uh, uh, talk by Folix about indexing. Uh, we participate in the building apps on IPFS session and I think uh, IPFS implementations as well, but I'm not sure. I think we have the talk here. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, okay, nice, yeah. So just feel free to uh, come to our talks, uh, check out what we do, and then join our track, and uh, uh, everyone is welcome. Thank you. I think Mash is not here. So um, there's a project and community track uh, to, 
to create the space to advance the project and the community. So there's all kinds of talks related to um, how, like, the interplanetary improvement uh, process, IPIPs, uh, which I just learned about, which is pretty awesome. Um, shaping standards, the Content Addressing Alliance, um, funding IPFS implementations, um, and many other things. So uh, come to this track to help orient the entire project and lead it into the future. Hey, everybody. Uh, I've been working on browsers for about a third of my life. I'm super excited about what things like IPFS can do to close the gaps that the web that we have today has not quite filled yet. But the way we've been doing that so far is to duct tape IPFS and HTTP together, or just shove IPFS in weird places where we have to sacrifice a bunch of the benefits that you can get from it. So with this track, we're going to learn from a few different projects that have been experimenting in the place, like. Uh, um, Web Recorder and Aggregor and others. We're going to talk about the things that we have to do for web extensions to actually work and be able to get some of the benefits of our stack in there. Uh, and finally, on the last part of the track, we're going to focus on what does a IPFS native web look like, uh, where we don't have to make those sacrifices, where we can reimagine what the web platform would be if these technologies and capabilities were native to it instead of having to uh, kind of use the duct tape approach. Thanks. Uh, so I am leading a, an IPFS and WASM track. Uh, so this is come and discuss how IPFS and WASM can blend into a magical system. Um, so there's going to be all kinds of uh, discussions around um, some of the uh, experiments with WASM IPLD, um, FVM, and how we can direct rip um, the Filecoin blockchain any parts out of that. Um, lots of vision around what a distributed programming um, IPLD environment would look like. Um, An awesome talk about IPVM uh, and autocodic. And there's a set of open slots for anybody else who wants to talk about computing. Um, and kind of like the, the goal here is to uh, figure out what the future of IPFS looks like once you blend put computation in. Um, many people have heard me say this before. I'll say it again. The biggest mistake in the IPFS project that I ever made is not putting a VM from the get-go into IPFS. So I should have pushed uh, V8 into Go IPFS from day one. Uh, and so this is undoing that and trying to push into um, a much brighter future with Wasm. So at least let's make it better. Um, so there is a session on Friday, which looks like it's just before dinner, uh, which doesn't look good, but it's all day. So I thought in the beginning that sucks, you know, uh, people will want to go for dinner. Um, so what this is about, it's going to be, um, yeah, there is a team that um, is doing measurements on IPFS that is uh, both within PL and outside. And we're going to be discussing several important components of um, the stack, such as uh, the DHT routing table, which is something that um, several peers in the uh, DHT have. So, you know, in order for the system to work, this needs to be, um, you know, uh, populated correctly. So we're going to learn uh, whether it is the case or not. Uh, there are other things like um, the provide the records, for example, which um, are also need to be placed correctly and replicated correctly and so on. So if you want to hear about uh, whether this is actually happening, that's the place where uh, these things are going to be discussed. Uh, we're also going to have um, people from uh, Cloudflare and from Pinata to see what outside, um, uh, what other um, partners are building and what measurement, monitoring, and benchmarking uh, they need. So uh, if you're interested to hear about that, come along as well. And ultimately, the second part of the, uh, of the session from, uh, I don't know, yeah, uh, early afternoon afterwards is going to be setting the plan for the future. So if you think that uh, the protocol you're working on needs some more of that, then uh, that's the right place to come and talk to us because uh, we can prioritize or you know uh, 
get that as a project uh, for you and what you're working on. So that's it. Uh, so this is a maybe track. I might remove it because the road mapping one seems way more important. Um, but if it happens, we'll be joined by some really special guests that are around the corner to talk about virtual worlds in a decentralized setting. Uh, so the folks that made EVE Online are like a couple kilometers that way. Um, and so they may join us. Um, uh, we might fix the timing so that way it doesn't conflict. So I, I know we've heard a ton of fantastic tracks, and I know everyone's going to have intense FOMO this week for trying to attend everything all at once. So this track is an opportunity for us to get back together as a group before the closing to actually share back the next steps, action items, and turn all of the ideas we've had into concrete plans for what are we actually going to do together, what are we going to commit this driving towards action, um, and especially try and uh, orient ourselves to some next opportunities to share out our work as um, people who are part of the IPFS community and project um, in kind of upcoming milestones where we can get back together and have a lot of amazing things to report for, for what we've done. Um, so this is an opportunity to um, do some discussion and uh, roadmap AI work to, uh, to make sure that that all lands into implementations really nicely. And that'll take us into the closing, which will have um, a few sessions, including some of the report backs from road mapping and some summaries across the board and some like um, retroing and so on. Uh, and like a, some like goodbye uh, talks.